Hello, Falcos here with a small tutorial for how to place pre-planned threats and line steer points in a campaign multiplayer environment. This will be a two-part tutorial. The first part will be for mission commanders learning how to quickly place the pre-planned threats and lines and the second part will be for the clients or other human players that want to insert those same pre-planned threads into their data cartridge. I already chosen the flight that I want to fly in the campaign. I did not change anything else. I did not add any pre-planned threads or lines. I just remembered the package number and then saved the campaign and gave it a good name so I can find it easily. Let's first open up that campaign file. We have to switch to campaign files here and then select my saved campaign which is rolling fire and open it up. The package number that we're going to fly today is uh, 5031 and now I can quickly and easily find it and I wanted to fly the seat escort Python 2 flight so I'll select it. This question about the DTC I did not save any DTC so I'm going to answer no and Weapon Delivery Planner will take the steer points from the saved mission file and here you have the, the flight plan with those steer points and all the other data already on the data card. But we wanted to like to play some pre-planned threads and lines so let's go to the map and here on the map you already see some yellow and red thread circles and also a flat line already drawn the red thread circles and the steer point line that you already see here is actually uh, the lines and the thread circles that are actually in my data cartridge at this time and in this example they were actually from my previous flight so I want to get rid of them so let's clear the lines by pushing clear lines here and also clear the thread circles by this button clear PPT and now we only have the yellow thread circles left. The yellow thread circles are actually the SAM placements that the Intel officer of Weapon Delivery Planner is giving you. Those are only the SAMs that have been spotted and are working and transmitting. Any other SAMs are not known to the Intel officer and there might be a lot more. So have a look out for some other SAMs during flight. Now let's Weapon Delivery Planner do some work. We'll press the Auto PPT button and you see that a lot of thread circles becoming red and are, have been selected to get into the data cartridge. But you also see here at the bottom of our route there are some SAMs not selected yet and we actually want to add them. As you might have known already the data cartridge can contain a maximum of 15 thread circles so let's have a look at them here they are and you see that we still have three positions left starting with PPT number 68 to 70 which are actually the steer point numbers and we have three spots left so let's have a look we have here an SA3 and if you now just left click the mouse you get a screen asking you if you want to add the SA3 as steer point number 68 yes we want to do that so just add it and that's it. The same will do for this SA2 here. Left click, 69 SA2, add. And maybe this one as well. Add place number 70, add. Now we have used up all 15 places for the thread circles. Um, but actually, I still want to add this one. So we have to swap it what with a different thread circle. So, for example, let's take this SAM, it looks like less thread than the one below. And if you move the mouse there, you see that it has been placed at uh, pre planned thread number 67. So we're just going to add this one at spot number 67 and add it. You'll see this one become red and it's now 67 and the other one is just yellow and not in the data cartridge. Let's do the same here. Oops. This is uh, pre planned thread number 62. That is not a big worry for us. So let's use it here. 
we're gonna add it as place number 62 and we're done now we have quickly set up our pre-planned threads and I quickly also want to have something like a flat line right click the mouse go to line 1 it is still empty we add the first point and let's see here line 1 add the second point we'll go there line 1 add the third point and maybe here an extension line 1 add it as the fourth point one more thing that we could do which is very quickly done in weapon delivery planner is adding the tanker tracks here you might see the green tanker track um, if you can hardly read it then we we'll just switch to the white map option and now you can see them a lot better this tanker track is camel 1 it uses uh, 63 yankee and will be on station between 725 and 1233 just go to one of the corners of the the tanker track box and just add it to a steel point line of your choice. We'll take line 2 in this example and you see that the box has been drawn immediately over the same spot. The tanker will be just flying in this box from the small side to the small side and just following there so you know where to find the tanker. Going back to the box. Now we quickly had set all the lines and all the thread circles and we want to pass these to our own data cartridge and of course to our fellow pilots so we'll go to the DTC page and we'll see here all the thread circles because we're working with a campaign we do not have a mission.ini file so we need to make a backup of this list of pre-planned threads and we can pass on that backup file so press the backup button and you'll be sent towards the weapon delivery planner directory subdirectory files subdirect link ppt just remember that position because you can find the files a lot faster just name the file with any name you would like I will call them Romeo Fox for rolling fire and just save them I'll do the same with the lines and make a backup do not overwrite already uh, files that come with the installation of Weapon Delivery Planner just rename the file to Romeo Fox they have different extensions so you can use the same file names and save it you can find those files again and just send them off uh, to your fellow pilots so that they can integrate it and the second part of the tutorial will go on how to integrate those files and then continue flying your campaign